these assumptions are true based on then uh, then the re then we can come up with a, a mathematical approach of what the result will be. But of course, a, a model is, is just a model. So a model is not the real world because usually in the real world, unlike with a lab, we can't trim everything down to just a couple factors to test a couple factors. So we have to make, of course, assumptions. And then the question is, is the model that we put together, does it have good predictive power for for the results for the entire population or not. So it's going to be in, dependent on the model and no model is perfect because the model is not the real world. It's just the model. Hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is another key element of statistical inference where in essence, we form two opposing hypotheses about the population, the null hypotheses and the alternative hypotheses. We then collect data and compute a test statistic. So clearly hypothesis testing is a core scientific tool. If we were to go back into our laboratory, for example, and run a scientific test to see whether or not a particular element causes a fluid to turn green, what we would want to do is try to remove all other factors on the fluid, form a hypothesis, that being the null hypothesis, nothing's going to happen when we add the element to the fluid, and then the alternative being that it changes colors, that it turns green, for example. And then we're going to run multiple tests from that point to see what happens, is the general idea. So depending on the value of this test statistic, we decide whether to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. This process allows us to make statistically informed decisions about the population based on our sample data. So let's take a look at an example here.